Hello everyone and welcome back to Flies and Aviation. Monday, January 31st was the last day at the post for CEO Gary Kelly. After nearly 20 years leading Southwest Airlines, Gary is retiring and he will be replaced by Robert Jordan, another veteran of Southwest Airlines. For over 45 years, Gary Kelly has worked with Southwest Airlines. He started his career at the airline in 1986 as a controller. He traversed through the ranks to become a chief financial officer before taking up his last post of CEO in July of 2004. Since then, Kelly has helped steer the direction of the airline. After departing, he will remain as a executive chairman of Southwest Board of Directors. Kelly has been involved in many of the major moves that have further solidified Southwest standing in the airline industry. This includes the acquisition of the airline Airtran Airways, the repeal of the Wright Amendment, which limited operations out of Dallas Love Field, the launch of international service for the first time in Southwest history, the introduction of the Boeing 737 MAX, and as well as the airline's recent major expansion to Hawaii. After 18 years at his post, Kelly is the latest airline CEO to retire coming out of this global health crisis. Last year, the CEO of Alaska Airlines, Brad Tilden, retired. In a couple of months, CEO Doug Parker will retire from American Airlines. American and Southwest are both headquartered in the Dallas region, and both Kelly and Parker have spent time bonding and taking up some playful strikes here and there against each other. While Kelly has spent 35 years with Southwest, Bob Jordan at Southwest has spent 34 years with the airline. He has a history of working in various departments of Southwest, including technology, finance, planning, procurement, corporate strategy, and as a chief commercial officer. Jordan also served as the president of Airtran Airways during the integration. Most recently, he has served as Southwest Executive Vice President of Corporate Services. Jordan has been taking a larger role in Southwest Airlines since Kelly announced his retirement in June. He has taken a larger public-facing role since then, as well as being a part of the airline's decision-making teams and working on their overall strategy. Southwest has other big priorities for the next few years. In 2021, Southwest engaged in a domestic expansion that added 18 new airports and a sizable amount of flying to Hawaii, which also required an extensive number of aircraft. For the next few years, new city growth will not lead the way at Southwest, but rather rebuilding pre-crisis schedules and restoring the network in line with demand. Are you excited to see what the new CEO of Southwest has to offer?